Oh my gosh. All right. I just want to take a moment to address why I have been gone for literally months. Like, oops. Okay, back to what I was saying. I just want to address why I've literally been gone for months. Like, I, I think it's been five, four or five months, something like that. Pretty much half of a year. And, like, the reason why is because back whenever I made that last video before I had, like, a, um, before I kind of went offline for a while, it was, I, um, I had made a pretty good amount of videos and I kind of realized that, you know, it wasn't exactly, you know, getting traction on YouTube. So I kind of had the thought, you know, well, maybe like I should leave it alone for a while until it, um, until, you know, people watch it more and it gets, you know, more views and stuff and people actually come to my channel, you know, and that's kind of what just happened. And I'm really glad because over that time that I was gone, I got more, I got better equipment, I got better software, I got better ideas, one right there, and um, more in my head too, and I feel a lot better about this because I feel a lot more ready to go, and I don't know, I just feel more into it, like it's it's kind of hard to explain I, in a way, I guess, but um, I don't know, I'm just, I'm much more into it, I have a lot more ideas. Um, my setup is better, it's easier to record and play other games too, which other games will be coming soon because li like um, during that time that I was gone, I've gotten quite a bit of games that are great for uh, my channel, I think. But um, yeah, so that, that pretty much wraps up like the main reason of um, why I was gone so long. And not only that, but it, it was just school and you know outside stuff. I had to get some free time to... Um, just take care of things and kind of have my own time you know friends family holidays work and stuff and all that all that jazz but um so yeah i'm back and i'm ready to go so <laughs> um i guess we can go ahead and get right into this build okay so all right yeah guys so i um i hope you enjoyed this build if you did then uh go ahead and leave a like if you want to and um all that jazz that would be super appreciated i love y'all support right here this is it this is the top but yeah so basically what this is is I kind of think of it as a factions base because you don't have to build this this can just be a um like a I just made this to look make it look cool but you can just have this like underneath one block and then it could be like a secret um, opening or something you can make it as like any kind of opening that you want but um, so yeah let's go ahead and get in open the button go down the ladder go down about like I don't know like 10 11 blocks and here we are it's kind of dark in here because of shaders but um yeah so you got this balcony um, you got a staircase right here you can go around there's two farms um, there's a bedroom right here but this is more of a multi-purpose room you can make this whatever you want I just kind of designed it the way that I think a bedroom would look inside of a base over here you have a full enchantment room literally a full enchantment room and it's cool because there's a window right here you can go out and look but yeah it's a full enchantment room which is awesome and so then if we go back here and go down this set of stairs you got an anvil and a little plant thing you got some extra storage you got your farms here which I think was a great idea because if you're gonna live underground you need food without going to the surface you got a whole entire chest room in here an entire furnace room and then this, I actually didn't put anything there because I figured that like there's already a bedroom up there. We already have an enchanting room, a chest room, and a furnace room. And then there's a um, a uh, another portal room. So like I just kind of thought, what else would that be, you know? So I was like, well, you know what? I'll just let them decide. So you guys can decide what you want to put in here because um, I make these because it comes to my mind and I find it cool and useful to for you guys to see and build if you want but I also want you guys to have some of your own creativity to it because it makes it feel more relative to your personality if that makes sense but yeah so that can be whatever you want but um, that pretty much wraps up this build but um, I think it's really cool it's a nice it's not too big but it's just big enough to where you can fit like a small clan or something 
or just you if you want it, if you just want a big base for yourself. But yeah, so uh, without further ado, we can just go ahead and hop into the build. All right, so first step of this, I'm going to go ahead and divide this up into steps because it's kind of big, so I don't want to make it just a scrambled jumble of blocks. All right, so first step is to build the way down. So in order to do that, you'll want to get your material of choice. I chose this because it's kind of like a... Um, I don't know, it reminds me of like cold steel, you know, like an underground base. But yeah, so that's my material of choice. You can choose anything that you want. But yeah, so what you're going to want to do is build a 3x3 uh, three three square. Oh. And then just fill it in with your material. And then there you go. So this is where your trapdoor will go. And you'll want to take it down about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And then go ahead and fill in that last block with the um, your material of choice, and then just go ahead and fill in like this entire thing with um, the uh, polished andesite if you're gonna use that. You can use whatever you want. So yeah, go ahead and fill all this in, and then I will be right back. Okay, guys. So I have filled in the entire thing with the polished andesite. As you can see, it's filled in all the way down there, the walls and the floor. And then I just came back up and put uh, four buttons and then my iron trapdoor. You could use wooden trapdoor, which honestly, if you're going to be in survival, wooden trapdoor is probably um, uh, not the way to go. I would say iron trapdoor. It's just harder to get through, you know, harder to break. But um, yeah, so obviously next step is to just place your ladders um, up the uh, sides here, just like this, because, I mean, you're going to need a way up, right? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead. Why is this so difficult? Why can't you place ladders in the same spot that you're in? Okay, so go ahead and break that out. And there we go. So that's the uh, way down. So now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next step, which is to make the main hallway, which I will go ahead and dig that out and then give you guys dimensions right in just a second here. Okay, guys, I'm back and there we go. I have it dug out. This is like the, um, this is the size of the main first like hallway thing. All right, so what you'll do is when you come down the ladder, you dig out two right here, obviously for the hole for the door, so two. And once you dig out these two right here, like this area that I'm standing in, you're going to dig out one, two, three. And then once you dig out three, you're going to go one, two, three, four. So four blocks that way. And then one, two, three, four, and four blocks that way. And also, it's one, two, three, four blocks high. So once you come down here, you dig out the door area right here, which is two blocks. Then you go out one, two, three, and then four blocks that way, four blocks that way, and then it's also four blocks high. So yeah, that's the dimensions of this. And so the next step is to change this to wood. So the walls are wood and the floor is wood and um, this is going to be a balcony so we're not going to change this wall yet but we're going to change everything including the ceiling to wood so I'll be right back when I do that. Okay everyone so I'm back and just a quick side note whenever you come in here instead of having a ladder right here put a button so that way when you come up the ladder you press the button and boom jump out. If you don't have a button then you <laughs> you're not gonna be able to get out so good luck staying in your base okay so moving on to the actual step alright now that we have all the uh, walls filled in here we'll just place some torches now that we have all this the walls and everything filled in except for this wall the next step is super easy what we're gonna do is take this wall and then just push it out by eight blocks so literally just take this entire wall and destroy it out eight blocks that way so I'm going to go ahead and do that and come right back to show you guys what it looks like. Okay guys, so I'm back. I've uh, dug out this room and this is what we originally had was this little sliver of almost nothing here. And uh, you dug this wall out 8 blocks. So I'm just going to count that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So the next step is once you dig this out 8 blocks, we're going to want to go ahead and dig down right here and make the uh, kind of central passageway that's down there. So in order to do that, or well actually not that, before we do that, we'll go ahead and make the other hallway. See how it's three wide? 
the fence will go right here and that will be this hallway so before we dig down and do the next step let's go ahead and quickly make that exact same hallway shape except over here so I'm gonna do that really quick and come back and show you guys exactly what it looks like what the fuck was that dude that's scary as hell man okay guys so I am back and um, this is it so basically what we did was we took this whole side and copied it to the other side literally we took this right here this little section and just copied it to here and did that and then we just connected the ceiling we just with wood we just filled in the ceiling with wood so now the entire ceiling is wood and this exact thing is the exact same on this side okay so now that we have that the next step is to dig down so to make the hallway down there what we're going to want to do is take this and dig down one two three and four and then this right here will be the floor so that is four blocks deep so you're going to dig down four blocks and then break one more block and put in your floor whatever you're going to use as the floor and then yeah basically you're going to want to dig out this entire thing right here four blocks down including the floor all right so I'll be right back whenever I have that completed. Hey. Hmm. Okay, everyone, I'm back. And as you can see, I've done exactly what I said. Um, from the bottom, you just build log pillars straight up on either side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight high. And on the middle here, make sure they go across like the pattern is across, not directly up. And then on the corners here, put upside down wooden stairs, and that's that done. Basically, <laughs> that's where the windows will go. And then down here is the hallway from, you'll come through the stairs, go down there, and this is the main walkway. All right, so I kind of should have done this at the beginning, but I guess this is the next step. Okay, so the next step is to install the main light. So the main light is directly in the middle. So come down here and find the center block. I'm on the center block right here. It's aligned with the door and the middle of this walkway. So once you find the center block, just look straight up and then go up and then boom, that's the middle. So then you just put, uh, make a three by three square out of the glowstone. And then all you gotta do is surround it with trap doors just to um, kind of add like a actual light effect, you know, make it look like a, a hanging light or something. I mean, obviously you don't have to put trap doors, but it just adds like a little touch, you know, so I did it anyways. And there we go. That's the uh, main light right there. Sorry, it's spinning around so much. It kind of made me sick. Yeah, that's the main light. Okay, so the next step is a little tricky. So we're going to make the, um, the thing that goes down the staircase. So in order to do that, we're going to break a 2 by 2 hole right here. And then right here, break these two and then put upside down stairs just like that. So then you have your archway, and then you're gonna wanna do that right over here too. Oops, and then just put upside down stairs just like that. And then do one more right here because you'll need to be able to get into the uh, enchanting room. So then there we go. So now that we have our arches, I'm gonna come over here, and this is kinda where it gets tricky. Okay, so we're gonna wanna go five blocks that way and 11 blocks that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and dig that out. And then after that, I can do the next step, which kind of, um, I don't know, it's tricky. I'll just go ahead and do it so I can't, so that I can't talk today, I'm freaking retarded. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So that way I can show you what it looks like and then I'll just take it step by step. So uh, yeah, be right back. Okay guys, so I'm back and as you can see, this is what we did last. We had the archways right here, the three archways. So once you make the archways in this area right here, obviously you dig out one, two, three, four, five. So from right here, five blocks that way, and then from right here, 11 blocks that way, which just literally goes all the way to this wall right here. So this is what it looks like. So basically you dig five blocks out that way in this area, 
and then you make oak pillars that are lined up with this one so an oak pillar right here that is lined up with that one and an oak pillar right there that is lined up with this one so that way they're symmetrical because when you come in here the staircase is going to be right here and then it's going to go down that way and then right here is going to be the walkway to get over here if if you know you see what i mean so that's where the window goes and the walkway will be right here and then if you go down here it'll be the staircase okay so now that i have that out of the way i'm gonna dig the rest of this out and i'm gonna put the staircase in and then fill the floor in with wood and then i'm gonna come back and show you guys and do it and show you step by step what i did and like the dimensions of how to dig it out and it'll all be diddly do all right i'll be right back okay guys so i'm back and i've dug this out so like i said this right here is the main walkway so i put wood all the way through here it's two blocks wide and it's just the main walkway that goes all the way to that wall and it basically connects this arch to that arch so the window will go right here and then right here is where the staircase starts so look this is the archway that's one two and then you have two stair blocks that go down one and then you have four oak blocks and then you have two more two blocks of stairs and it'll take you down to right here so right here is like a pillar of just oak blocks so see this is why I said it's kind of tricky it's a little hard to explain like when you're building it but so we have the pillars that are lined up with this see and then you can see them right here the fence will go right here is the balcony thing and then yeah this is what it looks like so like I said there's the arch two blocks and then the two stair blocks and then the four oak blocks and then one two three four stair blocks and then it brings you down to right here okay so the next step is you're actually gonna want to bring this down one more like that and then just bring everything down okay and then place two more oak stairs just like that so that way it comes out one from the pillar and then I'm just gonna fill in the floor with oak wood and then dig this out and dig that out all the way through there so that way we have a hallway going so I'll be right back when I do that okay guys so I dug it out and then I went one block in underneath these because there will be one two three four double chests and then there'll be one two three four glowstone so it'll be the the tiny chest area and then right there will be an anvil and then I put the plant thing but so just a quick note go ahead and fill in these walls and the ceiling up here with oak blocks like the walls all this and the ceiling just fill it in with oak blocks and I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then show you guys what it looks like okay guys so I'm back I filled in the ceiling and the, all the walls with oak wood and this is what it looks like so I put in the windows because it was kind of bugging me that they weren't there so you obviously you just fill in that with uh, glass panes and then right here I put three blocks of fence so that way you don't just fall off and lose your hearts and you could actually go ahead and put one right there so that way you just I don't know just for decoration I guess and so I filled in the walls came down here I put the two glowstone and then there's just wood back there so just go ahead and fill that in with wood back there and then put two double chests and then two glowstone and put a trap door on both of them and then do the same thing right here and that basically finishes off the staircase that comes down guys I mean we can put the anvil right here I guess I'll just go ahead and do that really quick why did I get rid of the fence I need that okay and let's get dark oak leaves spice it up a little bit all right so you just put that and then put the leaves and there you go now you got an anvil and that's literally exactly how I built it so there you go we have the staircase that goes down now so before we move on to the rest of downstairs let's actually go ahead and work on the enchanting room because that's probably one of the easiest parts so what you're gonna want to do is dig this out about one two and three because your wall will go right here and you'll extend it into there and then you'll dig this out and this will be the walkway that goes into the enchanting room 
So I'm going to go ahead and dig this out so that way I'm not sitting here just digging on camera because I know that's boring. So I'm going to go ahead and dig it out and then I'll show you guys the dimensions so that way you can do it for yourself if you are actually planning on building this. So I'll be right back. Alright guys, so... Uh, excuse me. Alright, sorry. Um, I'm back and so as you can see over there, I kind of I dug this out. This is where it'll be. So here's the archway right in this block right here. You're going to dig one, two and then your wood wall is gonna be right there. So it's a two block wide walkway, and it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then there's the wall. And the wall will be lined up with this oak um, pillar right here. And then, yeah, so once you take that out, um, one, two, three, four on the fourth block, go ahead and dig in one, two, three, because that will be where the bookshelves go just like that and that's the one side and then you'll fill in right here one two three and six and then you go ahead and do one two three and there we go and as you can see that is the enchantment room and then you'll just put this right here and what I did for um, as like a light I just went straight above it put a piece of glowstone and then I got a trap door so I'm gonna go ahead and grab a trap door and then boom just like that so now you have your enchantment room so just a quick little uh, view right there as you can see that looks super cool I don't know about you guys but I love how that looks because you just see it in there okay so this is how it looks you'll walk in it's two blocks wide and then you come in here you have your bookshelves and then there's two blocks right here and yeah so that's the dimensions it's pretty easy you can literally just look at this and see the dimensions and be able to build it because it's you can literally just look at it. you can go ahead and pause it right here just kinda like that I'll do that you can pause it just like that and see how it is alright so that's the uh, enchantment room and actually here's a good idea I didn't do this in my build but I just noticed this what you could do is you can grab some stairs go like this Fill this in with wood. Gosh, I'm breaking everything. And then you could do something like this and have a little, like, uh, I don't know. You could put, like, a little pot with, how about a fern? See how that looks. Put it right there. That looks good. Yeah, so you can do that. Have, like, a little thing right here. You can have a brewing stand. Maybe, um,. I don't know a chest or something you can do whatever right there I actually kind of notice that's pretty cool so that's what it looks like from the outside which is awesome I love the way that looks but yeah so the next step will be down here we're actually going to go ahead and dig this out I'm going to dig both of these sides out and then so that way we can put in the farm so I'm gonna go ahead and dig it out so I can show you guys the dimensions so you can do it yourself I'll be right back okay guys so I'm back and as you can see I've dug out both sides and so the dimensions are um, oh yeah before I go ahead and get into that the edge here turn this both edges into upside down stairs just like that so instead of it being a block turn it into upside down stairs along both edges so the dimensions are right on the stair you dig in one two and three and that's it you just dig in three all the way through here from that wall to that wall you just dig in three and that's it so now the next step is kinda like starting the farm and you can go you can like um, you can skip this if you want to um, if you don't want to build a farm and you want to do something else you can just go ahead and fill this in with wood and then do whatever you want but if you're gonna build the farm then the next step in order to build the farm is this block right here this upside down stair that's aligned with the door turn it into a block same thing that goes for right here turn that into a block because glowstone will be just like this right along here because obviously you need light for the farm so yeah that'll be right there and then um, we'll put trap doors around it so that way it doesn't look all crappy what the heck is that what the heck that's freaking dumb okay and there we go and so for this 
just like that okay there we go so now we got that and that's looking good so for all of this I'm gonna go ahead and just fill this in just you know, like to get out of the way because it's bothering me so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and fill that in and I will be right back okay so I'm back and as you can see I have filled the rest of this in oh, that looks that looks much better okay so so for the next step is to build the farm what well, okay yeah so we're gonna build the farm and so you'll need a pretty good amount of fence so what we're gonna do is go one block away from the wall and take the fence out to right there and then we're gonna bring the fence all the way over here and then bring it back to right there so one block away from the wall it comes out to one block out from that oak pillar and it's the same over here one block out from the wall and I'm gonna go ahead and grab a wooden gate put a gate right there a gate right there and a gate right there so that way you can get into your farm and then you're gonna want to go ahead and do the same exact thing right on this side so that way you can have the other farm and then oops gate and a gate okay so there we go now you'll just want to grab dirt and get a few buckets of water and then uh, yeah okay so let's go ahead and put in the dirt take out that put one more row of dirt take this out and put one more thing of dirt and then just do the same thing on this side so that way you can have a symmetrical farm unless you want some freaking wonky like uneven thing which don't get me wrong I'm not judging that it's just in my opinion I, I love it when things are symmetrical because it just feels neat I guess I I don't know maybe I'm weird it's I don't know it's just a freaking Joey thing and then go ahead and fill in your water is that it's not full in okay and then do that on this side god dang it dude that's my luck okay okay there we go so now you can just go ahead and fill in your uh, your um, farms with whatever you want and so the next step which is another thing that I should have done earlier is this pattern right here just take it down literally just take it down all the way to the floor so we got that with the two pillars of oak and then the polished andesite so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the oak and that comes down right here yep okay so andesite comes down right here the oak comes down right here just like this and I'm gonna take it down through there just like that so that way it's symmetrical uh, come on okay there we go and take that down through there and there we go see that looks nice because now it looks like it's connected and it's actually one piece and then do the same thing on this side just like that get the oak bam corn sp okay then jump a block put the oak in and then next is andesite and there we go so now that now we have that so we're basically almost done um, if you guys want to, you can go ahead and just fill in the fence right here because we pretty much have the upstairs done. I'm waiting for last to do uh, the bedroom right here in case you're wondering because the bedroom, it's just it's just a lot of customization, you know, stuff like that. So it actually kind of takes the longest. It's not the hardest thing to do. It just takes a little while to do the, uh, the bedroom. But um, yeah, so there we go. Check this out. We are literally almost done. That's freaking cool. All right, so now. For pretty much the last part, we're going to want to do the hallway. So, oh yeah, by the way, on both of the openings right here, put two uh, fence and then one upside down stair block on each side. Just adds a cool little arch design. Okay, so for the hallway, you're going to want to dig 12 blocks, just straight, 12 blocks in a 3x3 three three pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and dig that out and then show you guys what it looks like so you can make sure that you did it right yourself. Okay guys, so I'm back and this is what it looks like. It's a 3x3 three three hole and it's 12 blocks that way. So let me go ahead and count from right here 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So there we go. 12 blocks that way. So obviously the next step, just fill this all in with wood. And then once you fill the entire thing with wood, floors, walls, and ceilings, we'll just go ahead and carve out each room. And it's pretty easy. So yeah, next step is go ahead and just fill this entire thing in with oak wood. Okay, guys, so I'm back. And as you can see, I filled in the entire thing with wood all the way down there, floors, ceilings, and walls. So the next thing is obviously the uh, four rooms. Well, each room is five by five blocks, so super simple. So uh, what you're going to want to do is, well, I want to start off on this side. So you're going to count one, two, and then right here is where the door is going to be. And right there, we are actually going to have a stone bricks upside down stair because that's going to mark the uh, door and then directly across in the same spot, put the stone brick stair just like that. And so, yeah, so one, two, three, four, five. And then right here is going to be the polished andesite because this is going to mark the um, kind of like, you know, this is going to divide the rooms, you know, because each room is five by five. So one, two, three, four, five, and then andesite. One, two, three, four, five, and then another thing of polished andesite. So there we go. And then obviously in the middle of here is where the door is going to be, just like that. Boom. And we go ahead and grab a door. And actually, we should change this to wood before we put the doors because if you don't, then it's going to break the door. It's going to be annoying. And yeah. So now that we have all the doors. I am actually going to go ahead and fill, or no, not, not fill in. I'm going to go ahead and dig out each room. And then, yeah, I'm not going to fill in the rooms because in the beginning of the video, I already showed you guys, like, I went in here and it was, you know, just a bunch of chests. I went in there and it was a bunch of furnaces. And then I went in there and it was a nether portal room. And then I left this one not even dug out because I just kind of thought you guys could have your own, you know, like, your own room like you can you can have your own idea you know it's like a multi-purpose room for what you want it to be you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna go ahead and dig out these rooms and i'll be right back whenever i finish that okay guys so i'm back and as you can see i've dug out the rooms inside there i only did these two because i realized that if i'm not gonna fill in the rooms then what's the point of doing these you know like i i thought i was kind of dumb for doing that but okay so the rooms this is what they look like Oh, sorry. Oh my gosh. Okay, so yeah, I took some green carpet and went all the way from right here all the way down there. And this uh, design right here, the two fence and upside down stair, I put that on every single andesite thing that uh, we added into the wall. So that way it looks kind of nice. But yeah, so once you open up each door, it's one, two, three, four, five by one, two, three, four, five. So it's literally just a perfect five block by five block square on the inside. So it's super easy to dig out and you just fill it with wood or whatever you want. And then you just put whatever you want in these. Um, these two right here, these two front ones though, I put two stairs and then four um, four glass panes because it. Um, if you wanna make these like extra bedrooms or something, I thought it'd be kind of cool to be in here and you can look at the farm, you know, and look at all that stuff. So, yeah, you don't have to add the windows, though, if you don't want to. But, yeah, I added it because I like it. So, yeah, that's literally the hallway. That's, you know, there's four rooms. Each of them are five by five blocks and you can put whatever you want in them. I think it's cool because if you're going to have an underground base, you kind of need to have extra rooms that you're able to just put whatever you want in them. You know, because like especially for factions, you know, you, you need a lot of storage and, um, you know some rooms for like your clan or something or your whatever I don't know whatever it is some servers or a tribe who cares who knows you know it's all a mystery I guess until you until you find out but um yeah so that's that and that only leaves one more thing to do and that's the bedroom so let's uh let's get to it okay so the bedroom is actually very wide <laughs> like really wide and um I actually forgot the dimensions, so I'm gonna go and check really quick. I'm gonna come back 
and I'm gonna just go ahead and dig it out and then I'll show you guys so I can tell you the dimensions and you can see it for yourself so I will be right back okay guys so I'm back and I finished the room and the dimensions okay I already went and filled it with wood but the dimensions are okay so from the door there's one two three four and five blocks five so five blocks straight that way and then there's from the door there's one two three four and on the other side of the door one two three four so nine blocks in total so it's it's from the door five blocks in and nine blocks across and then it's three blocks high so what you do you just dig that out and then fill the entire thing with wood or whatever you want to fill it with and then bam this is what you should end up with and you could just make it however you like um, I'm gonna go ahead, oh, why did I do that I'm gonna go ahead and go back to uh, my original my the um, the original build that I did so I'm so I can uh, show you guys again like how I uh, laid it out and how I did my bedroom just in case you wanted a, um, a reference so that way you don't have to like spend time thinking of a way to you know customize it or whatever I guess all right so let me get in here and here we are I took the fence off by accident it's a lot darker in here I guess I just have less torches but yeah so in here as you can see it's the same shape I have three glowstone across the top right here I just covered it with trap doors I have an upside down stair furnace craft table thing then I have upside down uh, stone brick stair and then a stone brick slab two glowstone upside down stairs and that and a cauldron with water a pillar of oak some glowstone behind four double or I mean two double chests upside down stairs pillar of oak and then I have one um, wood stair and then two wood slabs and I just put a um, ambient lighting fixture right here it's just some glowstone it, it kind of hides it you know I think it looks cool I have a bed two bookshelves and then a um, pot with a fern that and then I just I just got a map see there's item frames I just got a um, a map and once I use the map you just do that and then pop put it in and there you go that's a um, quote unquote TV I guess it's by Samsung so um yeah Samsung actually makes Samsung makes some great TVs but just a um, side note there and then I got a carpet so yeah this is how I designed the room but all in all that finishes the build got the farms got the uh, the chest room you know, you got the thing, got one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine double chests, and then all these furnaces in here. As you can see, these are the same size, five by five rooms. You've got the nether portal with armor stands. This is also a five by five room. All of these are five by five. You got some shulker boxes. But yeah, so that concludes the build. Um, that took a lot. Okay. That took a lot longer than I thought it would. I mean, this will probably be like a um, a 30 minute video, but it took like two hours to record this because I, you know, had to dig everything out and basically rebuild this entire thing. But just anyways, with that out of the way, this has been fun. I um, I'm glad that I'm uh, I'm back into this now. Is I I forgot how much fun this was. But yeah. So um, hope you guys enjoyed the build. I sure did. I think it's an awesome build like pretty much for any situation honestly i would build this for a survival house like i would live underground just so i can have this but yeah once again i hope you guys enjoyed the build and um i just want to thank you a lot for um all the support um your your support is why i'm able to actually do this these videos like your support motivates me the most to uh continue doing this because whenever i see that you guys like my videos and that you watch them it kind of subtly hints at me that like actually not subtly it, it like shouts at me that you guys like what I'm doing and you guys want to see it so it, it makes me feel a lot more motivated to actually make videos it you know what I mean it, it feels good to see that you guys like what I'm doing so yeah once again I um, hope you guys did enjoy this video and that it helped and if you did like comment or whatever you want to do yeah whatever you want to do that'd be cool just anything you don't have to do any of them I don't really it's all up to you <laughs> everything's your choice on this channel to be honest anyways guys I'm genetics and I will see you guys in the next one